question that popped up in the forums. And this is something that has come up uh, a number of times over the past couple of years uh, with various customers and, and community members. Uh, so I thought I'd take a couple of minutes to make a quick video uh, and just show people how they could accomplish this. Effectively, what this user is asking is, I want to be able to hide a module based on some property or uh, some set of rules that I have uh, that maybe isn't based on what role that user might be in. Uh, so for example, um, I might want to hide a module because it's Tuesday and, and we don't have a sale running on Tuesdays or because it's the weekend and we don't have support available on the weekend or because I'm doing some A-B testing and based on some preset rules that I have I want to show one version of a module versus another version of a module. There are all kinds of reasons why you might want to show or hide modules based on a set of rules. So uh, DNN includes a capability or an interface uh, that you can use for building these out. Now I've built a simple project um, and let me shift over to it here. Uh, and my project really and in DNN, it really is very simple uh, to create one of these. They're called uh, module injection filters, and it basically you implement this iModule injection filter uh, interface, which has one method can inject the module. You'll get uh, some information about the module context and about the portal that it's running in. So in my example, what I want to do is I want to use a tag in my website uh, using the vocabularies and I'm going to tag modules that I want to hide. So the module will still be there uh, in the sense it will be on the page, um, but if I put the hide tag on it, it's going to tell me it should hide the module. Now, I still want to be able to manage the module, so I want to show it for super users and administrators so this method is going to tell me uh, if I'm a super user or an admin, uh, show me the module. Otherwise, if I have the hide um, term applied, then we're going to hide the module. And that's it. This is all the code that I had to write. Um, we could have made it even simpler than this. If you just want a, a module or a filter uh, that filters by a role, that is really easy. Uh, Often you want something a little more complex. Uh, it might be a certain type of module. Um, the nice thing about this filter is that you don't have to include this in the module code. So for example, if I had a commercial module that was uh, that I had purchased off of the store, uh, I could create a filter that still said, hide this module under these conditions. Um, and I could filter based on what page I'm on or all kinds of different things. So that's the purpose of this of these module injection filters and the fact that they don't have to be coded as part of the module gives you lots of flexibility. You can create all kinds of filters um, and just install the ones you want into your website or use a configuration file or whatever you want to do uh, to make this filter actually work for you. So I've got my filter, it's coded, I've already compiled it up, I've got it in a uh, zip file. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing in action and we'll take a look at our website. So the first thing is I've got a DNN9 site here. This will work um, on DNN8, DNN9, uh, it'll work on most DNN7s. I don't remember exactly when we introduced uh, the iModule filter, but it's been quite a while ago. Um, it may even go back as far as uh, some DNN6 versions. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here into vocabularies and I'm going to set up a vocabulary. Now I need one that is a website vocabulary. So I created this tags vocabulary uh, and then I added in a single term called hide. Uh, so this is uh, very simple to do. Uh, it wasn't working. I'm not sure if there's something else going on with modules, but it wasn't working with the global one. So I had to do it for the website. So don't 
don't uh, don't let that uh, cause you any worry there. Um, so the second thing is then I can come into a module. So I'll come into this one here. I'm going to go into settings. Uh, you have to be in edit mode on the page, obviously. And so then I can come in and I can select the tag to apply. So if I've got a bunch of tags here, just select the one that says hide. Uh, and we'll go ahead and update for that. So now I've got a module that is has hide set on it. Um, and right now I haven't done anything. I haven't installed an injection filter. If I log out, um, I'm still going to see everything that I expect to see. Everything's fine. I've just my site is just a regular site, and I just happen to have a module on the page that uh, has this tag applied to it. Notice I still see everything. Everything's fine. Um, so now let's go ahead and log in. And we'll go back. And now let's go ahead and install that extension that I've just built. Um, and so we're going to install the extension. I've got it uh, available right here. I'm just going to drag this in. This is the new DNN 9 interface for installing extensions. I'll go ahead and hit next. And it gives me a little bit of information about the, the extension. Next. No release notes. No license right now. Uh, done. And all this is, um, when, you look at the, when you look at the extension, if you go in, I installed it as a library, uh, and it's real simple. Libraries are nothing more um, than an assembly, right? So I just have this assembly there and this manifest file, and that's really all that's in that zip. So very, very simple. Go ahead and reload our site since we loaded an assembly up there. Okay. The site's loaded. Uh, we can see I'm still in admin mode, so I can see my module just as I would expect. Uh, but let's now log out and see what happens. So I've logged out, and now my content is gone. My module is gone. And if I look at the source code for this, there's no source code. There's nothing in the, the view source in behind that is going to tell me uh, anything about that module that used to be there. It is literally not being rendered at all in any way. No module, no container, nothing is being rendered there. The only module that's on the page is the one that is currently showing, right? So that, in a nutshell, is uh, module filters and are a great example of some of the functionality you'll find in the APIs for DNA. You can find the module injection filter sample code for this video on github.com. Just go to bit.ly slash dnn-injectionfilters for the complete Visual Studio project files.